right, here we are in the basement in the Commodore room. And I posted a video on YouTube not that long ago about one of my 1541 two drives acting up. I'm going to insert that right here. Uh, sometimes it does that because the head hair gets dirty. So I have lots of electronic like Q-tip cleaners, alcohol, can air. Uh, I keep the top off because I'm always testing disc. Where I just have thousands of discs laying around here. I don't want to show you. Well, they're just all over the place. And a lot of old discs because I do uh, I do backups. I archive them. And so they're pretty dirty. So being so dirty, it does gunk up the head hair a lot. So this problem wasn't fixed by wasn't fixed by me cleaning the head hair. And so I post a video, I got some ideas, like cleaning and stuff. So then I talked to Ray Carlson, who is who I consider is one of the experts on Commodore repairs, drives, computers. I've sent him some of my uh, drives before for repair. And he got back to me. I asked, I showed him the, I gave him the link to the video. I told him what was going on. And he says there are two different power supplies for that drive in the 1581. The smaller one is rated at 700 MA. Those fail where the large one rated for one amp rarely fails. The no read is a classic symptom because it works after power supply cool. That's his guess. And also he said the um, head can clog here. But stuff so tiny you can't see it. Try a pencil eraser and clean it. There you go. So now I use this. If, this, if the alcohol doesn't work, I use this. Now let me show you the power supplies. So you want this to be, if you're gonna buy one of these, you want this to be the one amp version right here. Um, the one amp. This one is a lot more reliable, rarely fails. I'll show you which one you don't want. All right, so I'm upstairs now in another one of my Commodore rooms. When I have like three or four Commodore rooms, I don't know. And this one is a little harder to see. But you can see here where it's the 700 MA. These are the ones that fail a lot. This one is upstairs. That one overheats a lot. And then I have to switch back over to my 1541 here. So that is it. That has solved the problem. I can thank you, Ray. You guys, post your comments below if you're having trouble. And thanks for watching this video. Remember to subscribe and to share the video, please.